what's going on guys boost the whips here um so most of you have already seen my post on instagram but my car uh cvt transmission is gone um a lot of you or quite a few you messaged me thinking that it wasn't true um so i'm just taking this film for you guys um i want you guys to kind of hear this so from the outside you can kind of hear the belt of the cvt whining and this is just an idle Not sure if you can hear that but I'm also gonna show you once I put this on drive there's a hard kick sometimes it does it sometimes it it goes that's just because it's about to start failing so I'm gonna put it here on reverse you guys can see the check engine light is on here the collision um, transmission uh, error has come on as well so here is on drive and see, I've, I've already let go. You guys can see the brake. I'm gonna go ahead and release the e brake. And there it's, it's already stuck. See, I'm on drive. Putting the pedal over there. And it just doesn't go it's just stuck there now if I can kind of floor it I'll probably kick into gear uh, but that's something I don't want to do right now I'm waiting on the tow truck to get this towed um, so guys if you have any uh, modifications on a CVT just be careful um, you know I I went on the dyno only with uh, 220 I think I hit I'm going to power off the car. I hit up 220 horsepower, so I didn't have that much. Uh, that was all due to the tune. I got retuned by uh, Derek Robinson, and I never went back to the dyno. Um, prior to this, I did have a small race the prior night. Uh, normal shifting. I didn't do anything out of the norm. But um, I got home. Everything was great and um didn't have any issues uh the next morning when i got up uh this issue happened so i couldn't couldn't drive i drove had a hard shifting uh, i thought it was you know something else so i kind of reset the car and everything was fine i went to a gas station uh to put gas just because i didn't have any uh, i was on empty and uh once i was driving out of there I got stuck in the middle of the road. Very dangerous, guys. You know, if something like this were to happen, uh, lucky for me, when I uh, hit that middle of the road, there was a red light on the opposite incoming traffic. So uh, I was able to power off the car, you know, kind of turn it back on, hoping that I would catch into gear. It did. Uh, I re over revved it a little bit. It caught the belt and uh, got the gear, and I was able to head on my way home. So here it is. Just waiting for the... Uh, tow truck to get here and we'll go ahead and get this baby out uh, i'm gonna be sending it to asian motors uh they've been kind enough to help me out find the kind of brand new uh transmission it has 6,000 miles on it and they're gonna help me out with labor and uh, whatnot but still it's still a very hefty price i'm gonna be paying about uh, two thousand dollars i know people uh other people that i have uh met with and they had to change the cvt for similar issues and they're paying about four or five thousand dollars so uh, something to think about guys um when modding a cvt i know a lot of people running much more power they haven't had an issue um but just keep that in mind what you don't want to do is overloaded you don't want to be racing constantly me personally i wasn't really racing as much i just caught a race the prior night and i think prior to that i didn't race for like six months or probably you know less but um, I don't catch races all the time I just go and I drive normal I don't beat the car so and this happened and I also maintain my car so I do my oil changes at 50% and I do my transmission fluid anywhere from 20 to 35 I just did my my first one only at 35,000 miles and I have 40,000 on my car so um, anyways guys keep you guys posted 
I'll wait for the tow truck. We'll get this guy loaded, and that will be it. So if you have guys that have any questions, comments, go ahead and drop them below, and um, we'll take it from there.